today we're uh, trying to clean some logs up. These logs right here are going into a little earthen home. They build these things out of uh, reclaimed wood, reclaimed whatever. They actually use pallets in these things and then they do a cob finish which is uh, plaster and straw and, and stucco whatever. I think Clayton should give me a paid day off for uh, coming in on such a winter blistery day. What do you guys think? <laughs> Tony, why would you want to use that when you can use a pressure washer? Um, this is the way we done it, always done it. Yeah? How long has the draw knife been around? About a thousand years. Since oh, more here. than that. <laughs> They've been around for probably three or four thousand. I think the Egyptians used them. Four thousand years ago, they used them for construction. Yeah. yeah. That is the way we used to do it. Versus that welcome back to sawdust and log nuts today um, is a busy day we're gonna go deliver these logs right here that Tony and I peeled over the weekend they're going into uh, the rafter of a little earthen home, which is a cob house made out of uh, pallets and um, just a bunch of reclaimed stuff. I'm delivering these to Valerie, and I'm gonna have Valerie explain a little bit more about the earthen, earthen home project and her company. Uh, come along for the ride, and we're gonna head to Kanab. Looks like it right down there. I think I'm gonna need to turn around. Oh yeah, we'll throw it out the road anymore. Here. <laughs> Give oh me this gosh. camera. Ah. I just ripped this off your back. So that one, I didn't let's, knock let's the lens off. off. That's your extra one. You've got it. Burn it, do whatever you want with it. <laughs> Tell us a little about Earth and Homes. What, okay. what is the concept? Yeah, so I mean, basically you're creating a mixture that is a, using a binder, an aggregate, and a fiber. So in most common cases, you're gonna use clay, sand, and straw. Huh? Like a cob house, basically. Yep. Exactly, yeah. yeah, yeah I, I'm familiar yeah. with the, the straw bale cob. Yeah, yeah so it, it's straw bale, rammed earth, adobe cob is just like monolithic adobe okay so what we're Likely doing straw yeah like so much okay. uh -huh. earth uh earth bag so there's yeah. a lot of different <laughs> so many different uh, processes yeah. that tie into cob but the the main or earthen building, or earthen. Yeah, earthen building. Okay. you say okay. natural building earthen building sustainable build but like earthen building is focusing on using local materials uh and using earth inside of and your just building. trying to stay as green as you can yeah green yeah. and natural and healthy yeah. and locally sourced. and locally sourced uh -huh. whether it's using pallets from your local hardware store or using trees that you already had in your property for like round wood right or timber framing or something like that there's lots of different ways like here it might not make sense to do a straw bill home because it might be difficult to get to source straw bales and it might be exorbitantly priced to get them in but it makes a lot of sense for us to use pallets because they're here so this structure it's a little different we're doing we're basically framing it with the pallets and doing like a lap and plaster and then we're going to use that same mixture like we would use for cob but use it as a plaster on the side of the building that is amazing isn't that fun yeah so we did 
And is this going to be a fireplace? This is, is actually, a... Josh did this. this it's um, going to be cubbies in an earthen bench. Oh, okay. Yeah. So just a bench. Yeah. And then does each one of them get a window or just? No. So, um, yeah, we'll have like some full walls with sculptural pieces on okay. them. Okay. So I see yeah. windows this going there. This will be an there, opening window. Yes. You getting these from like uh, Habitat? Yeah, I got this from the restore. Down in Hurricane? Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah they got just, some cool stuff. Yeah, as much reused like stuff off Facebook Marketplace, yeah. trying to like reuse. Do you keep the hole in the middle of the roof? Yeah. For like a smoke hole? or There's going to be a skylight. Just a skylight? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm really excited. Incorporate the stained glass? Yeah, that stained glass is going to be right here. And then this one's going to be a custom piece. We're actually going to do sculpture over the window with some glass and then painting as well on the glass. So you'll have to come, you'll have to come check out I the wanna, open house, do a little follow-up. We're going to need some That's going to be interesting. Oh, I want to see how that stacks. Hopefully you'll be seeing a lot more of these. Well, Maggie, yeah, just so. let us know. Yeah, uh, we cool. can get you the stuff. Okay, awesome. Okay. Thanks for coming out, guys. Well, thanks, Good Valerie. You Good to see you. Okay, take okay, care. We'll see you. That went pretty slick, and that is an amazing little structure. I can't wait to see the thing finished. We will uh, follow up on that. They should be done here in about four, well, she said four weeks total, so they're in two weeks, so another couple of weeks. Stay tuned, and we will keep you updated. Okay, well, Tony and I was in Kanab today and we decided to go check on the little earthen home that uh, Valerie's got going and check out our handiwork and the, the rafters and everything. So let's go check it out. This is so cool. Oh, I can't wait for them to see the tree. Yeah, I'm excited to show them. We're yeah. going to film it. So. Okay, cool. Okay. Okay. Welcome. Awesome. awesome. Well, I forgot your guys' names. Clayton and Tony. Clayton and Tony. What was your name? Sarah. Sarah. Okay. Good to see you guys again. Yeah, for sure. Glad okay. you're here. Awesome. Well, let's, cool. let's check this okay, out. Okay, yeah, come see. So, since we last were here, we've added a lot of features, little candle niches, sculptures, and some finished pots. Who did the tree? This is Sarah Crippen. She did the tree. Wow. And that's just out of clay? Yeah, so this is our base coat plaster. So it's a mix of sand, clay soil, and straw. And she's actually going to leave that base coat as like a truth window for the sculpture. And then this niche is going to be like an altar where they can have some candles. How do you cure that? Or does it just... It doesn't need curing. Yeah, I mean, it's not going to be exposed to the elements. It's going to have like a stain and a like an Elmer's glue clear coat kind of thing. Okay, so that'll kind of testing. hold it mm -hmm. together too. And then the plaster, this is an earthen plaster mix. So we use clay soil, sand, and then we actually use manure as a fiber. In okay. It. Yeah, because all it's got all that chewed up grass. It's like great. a steer manure or a cow manure? Um, or uh, horse manure is horse, the best. Yeah. yeah, it works the best. The way they chew and process is most and compatible. A cute little stove. That's yeah. like a tent stove. Yeah, it's, um, it's a tiny stove. It's a dwarf brand. It's it is really cute. We have it taped up because we're going to be painting. That is so cool. Yeah, and then... Uh, and she did these two? Yeah, these are the... I did those ones. You did those? Mm -hmm. Those are yeah, incredible. Yeah, these are the ravens. Those are incredible. What does they use a space like this for? So the space is intended for healing and creativity and just connecting with the divine. So just a very restful, healing, spiritual space. Cool, cool. And did the raptors work out? Yeah, beautiful. I mean, look at them. Oh, yeah. They're incredibly strong. <laughs> and then, yeah, be sure to get some footage of the bench. Yes. So this is Josh Berg who did the bench. That's his. And that's just like a stucco? Or the so same, this same plaster type of is stuff. The clay plaster, yeah. And when it dries, I mean, it's super it's hard soft, and strong. Yeah. It's almost like concrete. We've got really good clay here. Yeah, this window here is going to be an Art Nouveau inspired window. So it's actually going to be painted. So, how do people get a hold of you? Oh, okay. You can find us. Uh, so, my business is Terra Theta. You can find me right now on Instagram as Mud with Val. And then my team, Josh and Sarah, they're actually starting a business as well. And there's this clay sand soul on social media. And they're going to do this type of stuff? Yeah, they do. They do similar work. We've worked together a lot. And cool. So I'm, I'm really focusing on Utah area, Utah and Arizona. And 
they'll probably be everywhere. <laughs> so have you got some more in the works? Yeah, yeah, we're hoping cool. Cool. for a lot of exciting projects. I really like the ones where I can be have a lot of creative freedom and expression as an artist. Like every piece in here, I've put a lot of time thinking about, okay, what forms do we want? What kind of sculptures yeah. do we want? And then having amazing people to work with me who can implement it. Like Josh creating this amazing bench or Sarah sculpting this amazing tree. And then what do you do on the floor? The floor, we actually have samples over oh, here. Oh, so you're going to rock it like that? Yeah, so this is, okay. you know, with earthen building, you use the same components just in different ways. So it's an aggregate, it's a binder, and it's a fiber. So you make those kind of like a tile? Yeah, so these are tiles because they're tests. Yeah. It'll be one monolithic piece. Oh, okay, so it'll be monolithic. Mm -hmm. cool. Yeah, so it'll be an earthen poured floor, and it'll just have... These are these look this way because we have all different colors and material ratios. With samples. the sealer on it. Exactly. And gotcha, now, gotcha. And now we've sealed it with linseed oil, and we are letting it soak in so we can see what our result will be and pick our favorite exactly. for the floor. So yeah, Sarah put a lot of time into these as well. She like refined our pigments and got some reds and greens and purples. So that's going to be way yeah. cool. Yeah. You're just on Instagram now, no website? Yeah, it's or it's terratheta.co. Kind of, okay. So T-E-R-R-A-T-H-E-T-A. Okay. -E -R -R -A -T -H -E -T -A okay, cool. Dot C-O. Cool. Yeah, but I mean, at this point, there's so much interest. I, I've been spending all my time planning and building, and I haven't had a chance to create marketing yet, but we'll get there. But if you are selling them, you don't need the marketing. Exactly. I mean, it's yeah. just more mm -hmm. of examples to show people what you can do. Yeah, yeah. So, it's pretty yeah. exciting. I want, I want to see more of these in the Southwest for sure. Cool. Yeah. So there you have it. There's our rafters, and this thing is awesome. Thank you. Can't wait to yeah. get you some more rafters. Yeah, I'm so, excited uh, to work with you again. <laughs> uh, we appreciate it, and uh, thanks for watching, and we'll catch you on the next one.